Oh, hey, pants, Drew. Hey. All right. Hey, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. It's Lisa. Um, I've got a big reveal and review and lots to chat about. So this is going to probably be a very chatty video. Some people are probably like, all your videos are chatty, but I kind of try to be concise. Um, let me get my mic on. <laughs> Sorry about that. Welcome to my channel. Um, this video, I'm going to talk about all things that I got and the damage I did at the DC Pin Show. It was yesterday on August the 7th um, out in Fairfax, Virginia. Quite the commute for me to get to, but well worth the trip. Um, this is going to be a long video, so nestle in, grab your cup of coffee. Um, I'm shooting this on a very early Sunday morning, and I'm going to show you all the little goodies that I got. So let's flip the camera around and we'll reveal everything Hold okay on. this has been this is <laughs> this was the damage done uh from yesterday at the um dc pin show so let me just kind of move everything to the side and kind of reveal what i received and i'll start from smallest to the biggest just because it's easier to take it off of the box hard to get it all in frame so I was able to get a couple of these plant washi tapes. I thought they were really cute. So there's nothing really fancy smanchy there. These will be used in my journals and art journals, you know, accordingly. Um, so I got those two things. Then I got, uh, let's see here. I've been wanting one of these for a while. I got this coloring, uh, you know, the ink sample swatch book. So that's that. That was easy. And then I bought two Venta ink, inks, plural, not separate, so, um, singular. I cannot talk this morning. I'm sorry, people. It's, I've been up since five o'clock and I'm a little, uh, I guess, wear and tear kind of is going on here. So bear, bear with me. <laughs> this un unboxing uh so uh let me i've got the swatch book i actually brought my swatch book out um we will swatch these except i forgot to get q-tips hold well, on i just grabbed q-tips i also made sure i grabbed some water so i can rinse off the dip pen okay let's do these venta swatches yeah let me just bring you on down here sorry for the craziness of the camera angle like that that should give you everything that you need okay um let's see i can't remember where ventas come from oh the philippines venti, venti inks were out of the philippines the dc pin show i think we could have we probably had the best day weather wise we could have possibly ever had for the show yesterday it was overcast and cloudy cool for this time of year which was great it wasn't sweaty swampy humid like we can usually be in the metropolitan dc area excuse me i need a cup of that coffee is so good um get that out of the camera and the very first booth that i ran into once we got done paying for our attendance was uh van s pens so i got this from van s pens out of little rock rock in arkansas um, I, I don't know what's going on with my tongue today, people. I, I really do apologize. I usually am more able to enunciate <laughs> proper fashion. Um, heads up for anybody who does like to order from Van Ness Pens. They did tell me that they are moving their shop this week. So the week of Oct August 9th, they will be, good Lord Jesus, they will be moving their, they taped it down. Um, they will be moving their shop. So anytime that anybody wants to alleviate them out of any of their supplies this week so that they don't have to move it to their new location, they greatly would appreciate it. So I will pass that on uh, for them uh, to you. So there's that. And I've got other little tidbits from this DC pin show. As I go through this video, I will share with you some of the things that I gleaned from various vendors. I've never... I've never thought that they could package, but I will tell you this, Venta will make sure your, your bottles don't leak or spill. Good Lord. These things are like hermetically sealed almost. All right. Um, get that over there to the side. This first um, color I think is called Armada. 
it is a beautiful light um, blue color if I remember correctly I'm just get my swatch book open over here out of the way unclip that move that to the side ah too much organization so early in the morning it's not five o'clock in the morning any longer but um, it's later in the day and I'm still just wow I'm impressed by all the packaging they really do Ooh, look at that color I'm gonna just put this down as my swatch <laughs> this is great Oh, we'll just let that soak in. That's beautiful. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, it's kind of like a bluish green. I'm gonna just kind of like swirl this around. It's really, really pretty. Um, so no Q-tip will be needed for their ink. All right, so this is the oh I love that I love how that shades up this is kind of a watery ink um, Armada ink let me see how this it's kind of wet um, it's really pretty Philippines. I can't spell Philippines. Excuse my poor spelling right now. I have not had coffee and it really is showing here. But this is a beautiful color. And I'm going to say it's kind of on the wet side just because uh, it's going to take a while for that to dry. <laughs> but I also kind of, the properties of the water are kind of grayish green. But yet when it dries, it dries kind of bluish. So it's a beautiful, beautiful color. And the great thing about going to a pen show, I will say, if you can be in an area that has one is that you don't pay for shipping <laughs> and they you don't really pay for taxes it seems like and things things are kind of flat rated it seems like you get a little bit of a price break also you'll have the ability to um, excuse me I'm just gonna grab a garbage can here have the ability to uh, kind of see pens that you you always thought that you might be interested in up close and personal it's kind of hard to get a feel of a pen looking at stuff on the internet and the great thing about going to a pen show is that you actually can put your hands on these pens that you look at and go oh I'm interested in but you don't know how they're gonna feel how heavy they are what the weight is etc etc so if there is a pen show in your area I highly suggest if you don't mind wearing a mask for the entire time because we had to be masked in these in Virginia um, to do so it was it was a great experience I had so much fun and you're around like-minded people who also love stationary all things stationary fountain pens etc okay this next color is called ube ubi it's ubi it's a really really pretty color it's a kind of purplish color okay let me struggle to get this out I think I'm going to cut up a higher so that will make it a lot faster than the last one now that I have experience on knowing that the tape doesn't come off easily but they do a really good job of packaging their um, bottles for the trans-pacific crossing to get over to the United States okay so yeah this these inks are wet it's <laughs> still trying to dry Oh my god it's really gorgeous I'm gonna damp this one down this is Ubi and let me just get 
keep you up close on what that color looks like. It's a beautiful purplish, purplish color. And I have a lot of purples. I tend to lean towards the purples and the blues more than any other ink color. do that okay I cannot write today I apologize I do like this glass nib pen, however. I, I can't <laughs> speak highly enough about how much I actually really love this pen. This pen is fantastic to write one. Much better than that Moo Man um, one that I got from... Look at that new color. Just beautiful. Those two together are just absolutely... that color just gorgeous um all right so i got these two bottles of venta ink i needed more ink like i needed a hoe in the head however i just could not resist um because they did they sent these they sell these bottles at the show i think they were like if i remember correctly they were ten dollars a bottle for 30 milliliters of ink which is a fantastic price um and then as if I did not have enough ink. I got my favorite, and we're getting ready to go into fall. I know we're in the last days of summer, um, which I'm really thankful for. And I got my favorite Diamine Autumn Oak. I absolutely love, 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 love this color. And I have it already previewed in the book, and I'm gonna see if I can unsqueeze the top which this is on quite tightly. Yeah, it's not gonna cooperate. And I don't think I have a rubber band or anything close to help with the gripping of this. Oh my God, I forgot. The British also, they just pack theirs in really tight. Hold on just a second. Okay. Diamine Autumn Oak, I absolutely Diamine, if you're listening, please put ridges around here. This is a very small grip section, and when they're, the lids are on tight, it's just hard to grip. All right, this ink color is absolutely, I'm gonna go back into my inward. It is a beautiful fall orange kind of color. And when you're writing on really bright white paper, which this is not, it's absolutely gorgeous. Oops, let me bring you in a little bit more here. And this is out of England. Okay. Oops. And out. Wet, but not as juicy. <laughs> as yes, these Venta inks are. All right, so I'm not gonna do the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog with um, autumn oak because I've already got this in here, but I just bought a new bottle. And my first bottle of it, I absolutely love this color. So I got some of that. And lastly, P.W. Ackerman D. Hogg. Um, it's a Dutch, um, this is from the Netherlands. Now, I've, I found out through who I bought, who did I buy this from? I bought this ink from, uh, let me see. It's a place out of Indianapolis is where I got the ink from. And John was the owner and he was really, really nice. Um, was it Emer Ink? I don't wanna say the wrong, I don't wanna say the wrong company. I think it was. 
Lemur Inc. out of, yeah, out of Indianapolis. And let me show you their card. I, I will plug for them. Really good guy. Um, he was really, really friendly. And he actually was one of the few vendors that I actually heard kind of bartering a little bit with, you know, prices at the show. And I thought that that was really kind of cool. Like, people were like, if I buy two of this, can I get it for this amount of money? And as long as it was reasonable within his limits, he was kind of game for doing this. He was one of the few vendors that had P.W. Ackerman at the show that I saw. There were so many booths. It was like walking and just walked and walked. There's so much stuff to see. It was like almost vision, visual overload. Um, he said P.W. Ackerman is actually hard to come by. COVID has not helped that business at all in the Netherlands. And <clears throat> these were the only colors that he had left out of that. So if you like P.W. Ackerman or if you're in love with this inkwell type of feeding um, mechanism for the, the bottle that they have, you might want to get your hands on it if you find a color that you can halfway tolerate. He only had this color available at the show and I wanted the bottle. So I <laughs> went ahead and sucked up the cost for the bottle. To, I mean, the cost, the type of ink, the color of the ink to get the bottle. And it's a livable color for me. It is a pink. And the cool thing about a P.W. Ackerman bottle, if you're new to this brand, which I'm new to the brand, I've seen other people preview it on YouTube, but I've never bought it, is that when you turn it upside down, there's a glass ball on the inside. And then it basically sucks out the ink so that um, the ink is there and you can get the the I cannot talk. You can pull the ink out of the top part of this inkwell into your fountain pen. So that is, that's the little nifty trick of P.W. Ackerman is this glass ball mechanism. So stay tuned, there's more on the glass ball mechanism type of inkwell coming up later in, these, in this video that I wanted to hit you on. This is a pink color. I have tons of pinks and reds and purples. And like I said, I need ink like I need a hole in the head, but I wanted this bottle. Um, so that's what the lid looks like. This is a pink color, so I'm gonna have to swatch it. I'll just use the other end of the Q-tip that I had. Uh, let's see. Okay, it's kind of a pale, pinky kind of color. I'll probably use it sometime eh, next year. Maybe, maybe sooner. Um, let's see here. And I think this is the, yeah, it's just a pink. So my first bottle, P.W. Oh, it's got more punch to it than I thought looking at it. Coming out of the thing, there's two Ks, Ackerman. And this is out of the Netherlands. I don't normally put down the countries. I think it's because I've been watching so much of the Olympics that I'm still <laughs> last day of the Olympics. I'm having Olympics fatigue as well. Let's see here. Been staying up really late trying to watch all the competitions. Let me just do a little, see how wet that is. Kind of juicy. All right, let's do this one. All right, so I hope everybody's having a good summer so far. Um, you know, the Delta Byron has been a, a butt kicker for, <laughs> I think, everybody around the globe. So hopefully everybody's still able to make the best of it and staying happy and healthy. Okay. So that is my first bottle of P.W. Ackerman ink. Hopefully they will be able to work out their supply chain and you know resources so that we can get more of their lovely inks in different colors. Uh, next are the pens. So I'm done with the kind of sampling portion of this. Now I get to go to the really exciting things. Uh, am I going to... I'll even do a writing sample. I should have done a writing sample with probably the inks that I did, but I will try it with a 
with the new ones. I will use one of the ones that I just used. And I think the one that I will use, because I really want to see how it writes with it, is the Venta. All right, and we're going to go with the Armada. I think this is Armada, Armana ink. I think it's Armada. Um, I bought my first ever. These are two new first pens. I've never owned these pens ever. Um, the first pen that I'm going to reveal is my first Franklin Kristoff pen. Um, one of the, the advantages of going to a pen show, oh, let me show you the box because I know people get into the packaging. It's really anticlimactic for me, so I'm like, oh, let me just show you the pen, which is really the true star of the show. So at the pen show, they didn't do anything with their boxes that were fancy. This is the Franklin Kristoff box. Very simple packaging. They are um, out of Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, they had a lot of their models on display. Um, I felt like they almost had a really full representation of what you would see at their on their website. Um, in the box, no fancy packaging here. You get a Franklin Kristoff uh, pin case, which I thought was a nice touch. They gave me two um, standard international short cartridges. And this is their business card, if you want to look at it there. And this is their contact information. So if you want to stop the video and take a look at that. Yes, I'm plugging Franklin Kristoff. I'm plugging everybody that I went to. Um, you get a lifetime warranty with their pens, which is really, really nice. I've never had a pen with a lifetime warranty. Um, and you get Audrey is the person who did my, was my nib smith. They had a nib smith on at the show. And I got a Nagahara italic cursive, um, fine uh, cursive nib. So those were the things that were the goodies in it. You bought the pen, you picked your nib, and then um, it cost extra for this nib. And I absolutely love it. Um, there's other people on YouTube who've done Franklin Kristoff and they've written with it. And I was like, wow, I would love to get a Curse of Fatalit nib, <laughs> custom ground, you know. So this is the number 46 pen that I bought at the pen show. And like I said, there, I don't know if you're gonna see this, but they have, um, it'll tell you it's like number 46 up here. It's engraved in the pen. It's so itty bitty. Um, and they didn't do any job with like, sorry, just knocked my camera, um, embossing it to make it more obvious. So it's gotta be like looking at my pen kind of in person. So I'm sorry if you can't see it. I think you can post this pen, although I wouldn't recommend it. It's really not, it's not a solid post. It's not gonna really stay on the pen. Um, this is what the Curse of the Fine, Curse of Italic nib looks like. So I keep bumping my camera. But it's absolutely a gorgeous nib. It is a still nib, so there's no flex or line, true line variation. I would not recommend, even their flex nibs, they are like, high, they said hybrid flex, so they don't really recommend you try to like do it like the old fashioned vintage flex. And I think I've got some ink in here. So this is the Franklin. And again, I need to bring you guys down so you can see it. I need more ink on this pen. I just cleaned it. Um, I cleaned it yesterday and I flushed the nib. And I will say that um, <laughs> it gets into their pens pretty easily. Franklin, Kristoff. Uh, it's a pH. Oh yeah, two pH. Kristoff, this is the fine cursive metallic nib steel. And this was with the Venta. Ooh, I like the ink with this pen. I think I've got a winner. Um, so 
again, the true joy of being at a pin show is A, you get to put your hands on things that you see online, in person. You can hold it, feel it, see what the balance and weight is. This is very comfortable in hand. Um, I like the grip section of it. Uh, their pins are not what I would consider inexpensive. They're more on the pricey side. This one was um, 150 for the pin, and because I picked the Curse of Italic nib, that ran me an additional 25 So it was $175 all in. I feel like this was really well worth it. I got it crowned in nib smith right on site at the pin show. I had to wait 10 minutes. Then they basically, um, you pick up your pin, they have you kind of try and write it um, out at the ink sample tables, which is another cool part about the pin show is they had an ink sample area that had every known kind of ink practically um, able to be utilized, dipped, tried, swatched. Um, you could take this book and probably fill up half of it quite easily at something like that show. And it was just it was just a really wonderful experience. And the people at Franklin Kristoff were just really nice and really personable and answered all your questions and I just really enjoyed that whole entire experience that I probably would have never gotten I would have never gotten it if I was ordering it from online I just would have never had that experience so I'm really happy that the DC pin show did not get canceled this year it wasn't a virtual event that it was truly a in-person event and that it was so well done they did a really good job with what they had available to them, but this is an absolute gorgeous writing pen. Um, so that is the Franklin Kristoff pen, and I will stick that into the little case. Next up, pen number two that I got. And it's really funny that I ended up picking this pin up. So the morning, yesterday morning when I woke up, um, again, I, I get up fairly early anyhow, but five o'clock on a Saturday and Sunday is usually not my favorite time. I um, turned on YouTube and somebody was actually demoing on a video or vlogging on this very pin. And I was like, oh, that's a really gorgeous pen. I probably, you know, I don't know how new or old it is. I probably won't see it. Might see it. Didn't know. But I bought my first Norwal. A Norwal is a well in the kind of beluga family of wells. It has a extended tusk. Poor thing that <laughs> it has to deal with. Good probably for like spearfishing other animals, but um, that's what a Norwal is. This is their box. It's a beautiful box. I got this from um, a company out of, I'm going to grab their bag because I didn't, they didn't have any business cards. <laughs> I can't believe they didn't have any um, business cards at the show. This, I got it from Dramagals. Um, they're out of the Texas area, Dallas, Fort Worth area, I think, is where they're at. Um, I've never done any business with them before, but they were really lovely. They had a whole tower of various inks. Um, a lot of people have big ink swatch books so that you can look at it. And um, then they have these Norwal pens. So this is the user guide and warranty. This is a piston filling pen. And it does not uh, come apart like other pens like a Twisby or whatever. So this is the box inside of it. It's very simple packaging. So you get the user guide and the warranty. Um, Norwal is a U.S. made fountain pen <laughs> manufacturer, so woohoo, got a pen from the United States of America. Um, it comes now with this wrench, kind of like a Twisby, to um, deal with the piston head if you want to pull it apart and kind of do a more deeper clean on your pen. This is the fountain pen that I saw yesterday morning, and let me give you what the model of this is. This is the Shaquille, Shaquille, the Shaquille. Uh, the Shaquille, the name is from a river in uh, the Pittsburgh, no, the Philly area. So if you're uh, from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, you're very familiar with Shaquille. It is a, I think, Dutch-based name, not gonna pronounce it. This, this model is a, 
<coughs> excuse me, Ashford Bronze Fine Nib Pen. This is the one that I got. I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. Excuse me, I'm going <coughs> to... Pardon me. This is an absolutely beautiful pen. Um, piston filled. It's got this, like as you can see here, clear window for your ink so that you can kind of see what how much ink is flowing through your pen. Uh, the finial has the rounded finial with just a silver top. Kind of anti-climatic as a finial. Um, the clip is it's tight <laughs> this is a very stiff clip um, so if I I run against the owners again who were there at the show and I don't remember who, what their names are I was watching a big boot pen um, vlog and he was talking about the owners um, they're out west but this is this pen does not kind of come apart so you cannot detach the nib unit from this at all it's all in play um, I'm gonna bring my camera up here Sorry, I'm on a spring hinge system here, and I think it's a little loose. Um, but this pen is piston-filled, so the piston kind of works its way down. Oh, I can see it. I don't know if you guys can see it, so I'm going to see if you guys can see the piston. But it's working its way. I can see it right here, um, up and down. And it comes all the way down to about here in the pen. So it has a decent ink size. Um, I've got a little bit of liquid because I did clean out the, um, I flushed it yesterday when I got home. Um, the owners who were at the pin show, so Norwal was also at the pin show. I didn't realize that until I walked, you know, further into <laughs> the environs of the hotel. Um, they were saying two things. Um, one, they're gonna be coming out with a stub nib unit. And two, they're gonna be coming out with inks. Um, this is a number six nib. I don't, I asked them if it was a Yobo nib and they said, no, these are our own nibs. So I don't know if that's true or not. I'm assuming that they're, that they're, that as the owners, they know where they get their nibs from. So they do not get their nibs from Yobo and they're definitely not Bach nibs. They're their own nibs. And they have a little bit of that, that, uh, Norwal embedded into, embedded into, uh, the nib unit itself. Um, and I got a fine nib pen and I'm going to actually ink this bad boy up. Let me just get, uh, with these colors, I do not want to do the ones that I have. Hold on. Actually, that's not true. I've got, yeah, that'll work. We'll use I mine Autumn Oak. Since it's here and there's a little bit of orange in this pen. And again, because the piston is down here on the pen, I'm not going to be capping this pen. So this is going to be one of those pens I wouldn't actually recommend that you um, post it. I'm sorry, I said cap. I mean post. I wouldn't post it. Okay, so this, I want to write down this pen name. This is the, ooh, it's a smooth writer. This is the Narwhal S C H U Y K I L L. That's a mouthful. And my color for this one is Ash Fur Bronze. Ooh, God, this pen writes really, really well. Okay, this pen, I was able to get it at the um, pen show for $60. So it was a pleasant surprise on how reasonable it was. And I guess part of what these two owners really tried to do is make their pens really affordable for people. Really dry ink, that Diamine Autumn Oak. Yeah, it's dry. Um, but this pen writes, I have not tuned it. I've only flushed it. It writes like butter. It's up there to me. Like if you get a good, um, nib out of a Twisby, it's like that. It's that kind of experience. Really nice writing pen and really reasonable price pen. I think for, and it's a, again, a still nib pen. But yeah, 
this is a fine nib still. All right. All right, so that brings up my last thing that I got that was probably, you guys could guess, underneath all the other items that I have already unboxed for you. And we're coming down to the end of, <laughs> finally getting down to the last item. Let me just put this Norwell back into the box for now because I'm going to need to kind of get that taken care of. Okay. Um, in there too. Okay. And this is going, the ink finally dried on these other Ventas. They are wet inks. So just so you know, if you get Ventas, they are very wet inks. And if you use a broad or a medium pen, it's going to take a while for the ink to dry. All right. Lastly, Galen Leather was there. I got to meet Yosef in person. It was really great. They were crazy, crazy busy. Um, so I didn't try to um, take a photo or anything like that. I'm going to probably interject some of the clips um, from the pin show at the end of this so you can kind of see how kind of crazy busy it was. Um, Yosef and I think it was his brother were there and another helper from Istanbul, Turkey. So they made the travels all the way from Istanbul to the metropolitan DC area, which was just fantastic to see them. Um, I think everybody's probably, t you know, shared stories of, you know, him losing his wife and them starting the company together because she had a love for that kind of items and um, goods out of for stationery. So I have now exceeded my where I ever thought what I ever thought I was going to buy when it came to fountain pens. Uh, the the journey of being a fountain pen collector has expanded and taken me long and far. They put all this stuff together right there on site at the um, pen show. I'm going to kind of come up so that you can see more. I'm even standing up because the box is a substantial size box. Let me get the ink water out of the way so I don't knock that over. That would be a disaster. Um, so they threw all this stuff in the box, you know, just like you would get it if you were ordering it online. So I probably saved about $35 in shipping uh, with them being at the show. And I got to see things that were there. That, the, that they, I'm sorry, of course I got to see things that were there, but I got to see things in person <laughs> that they make and they had some new items they actually have some new leather wraps that they have that just kind of flap over kind of in the same method of the um, ones that are made by um, Rowena but I have actually like I said exceeded where I where I thought this pin journey was going to take me and I needed to get a larger pin case because I've been buying pins, you know, steadily almost one every month and or two <laughs> in this case. So I was able to see the uh, gray version of the 40 fountain pin case and I was able to purchase said thing. So I now am a proud owner of 40 plus fountain pins. I know that's a lot for some people and other people like, ah, you're just getting started. Um, but I got this lovely gray one and I really did need it because um, with my last couple of purchases in the last few months, I don't, I've, I've been running out of space and I've been buying smaller cases, but they're really not, um, <laughs> they're not really helping out my cause any. I kind of ran out of room after the last one. Um, so. I was able to get this beautiful gray um, case. Colors were very limited. Um, you know, I think everybody's being impacted by COVID. They had a 20, the 20 case zip um, with the flaps like this that just have two, um, only in green. Like they didn't have any other colors. So um, there was that as well. Um, sorry. So. Yeah, I was able to get this, which is great because now I can take these three cases and consolidate. You know, this is my other blue Galen leather, which I absolutely love. 
I, I bought this one as well, Shibui, from Endless Pens. And then I bought this cheaper one from Amazon. Um, and I bought all these this year, but I've already <laughs> don't have, I don't have any more slots left in most of these cases any longer to expand. So I think what I'm going to do, and I'll probably do a separate video because this one has been so incredibly long. Um, I'm going to go ahead and probably reorganize them and I'll show you what I finally kind of conclude at the, at an, on another video. I'm sorry people, I just, I'm not speaking well today. I just, I, the words are not coming out of my mouth. If it was scripted, it still would be very awkward. Um, thank you for staying with me if you made it this far. I really do appreciate it. And thank you for all the support. If you've got anything negative to say, please keep it to yourself because all negative comments will be deleted off of this video. Um, I do this out of passion. I am not a professional. You know, this is all free time fun for me. And I think, you know, YouTube's a place to have these kind of loose, very, very flushed out kind of videos. But hopefully you guys enjoy my unpacking. I definitely enjoy getting all these items. And I really am grateful for all the people showing up at the DC um, pin show to sell us their wares. It was absolutely wonderful. So... With that being said, I'm going to uh, wrap this one up, and I hope everybody enjoyed it. Take care. Be safe. Have a good one. I'll talk to you later. Bye.